Oh, he had one horse. He had one horse. <laughs> he had horse. He was living through a war, but he didn't lose his sense of fun. As a child, Mohid Zahori planted every tree in this orchard in Kusair. It's my Thursday. <laughs> he turned 42 here, but his mind was on other things. My name is Mohid Zahori. I'm a free people. I'm free, born. I'm free. Using pens, crayons and paper, Mohid was fighting against what he saw as tyranny. Bashar Assad, he killed everybody. Bashar Assad, mafia. Bashar Assad, mafia, sure mafia. He went to kill all people in Syria to live, to stay in the chair him, the chair. Mohid was an artist drawing for a revolution. This is Bashar Assad. It's not this. When he showed the people Syria, he say, me is that like this. No. Bashar Assad, uh, real, this. Bashar Assad, he, he, he sitting in the chair and chair and uh, he's smoking argila, nargila, he's smoking argila, and do, he don't care about children died and people died. No, he don't care. He's His drawings depicted all angles of the Syrian conflict. Uh, when he go to outside from Syria, uh, from outside the Syria, he say Bashar Assad, ha ha ha. A few weeks later, Mohid suffered a shrapnel wound to the head. His friends took him to a hospital in Lebanon, but he couldn't be saved. Then, under the cover of darkness and when it was safe, activists brought Mohid home, where his brother, Mufak, was there to greet his body. And the next day, Mufak led the funeral procession. Two cameramen who were killed as they filmed were also buried alongside Mohid. Hundreds of people attended and Mohid's drawings were on display. Later, Mofak went to the mosque and prayed for his brother. With news of more deaths in Kusair, Mufak sang for those just killed. For everyone in my, in my village or my city, I sing for him. I didn't know who sing for me when I am die. Allahu Akbar Allah. So as he sings for those who have been killed around him, he fears for his own life. But no one knows for how long Syrians will have to keep singing for their war dead. Will Jordan, Al Jazeera.